Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. Got a few things that I've noticed here today, and I'd like to see if I can use them in a conversation or a message. We're talking about, <clears throat> oftentimes, fornications and adultery and false witnessing, lying and cheating, corruption, <clears throat> Stealing and hatred and racism and bigotry, terror and war. We usually refer to these things as evils. Sometimes we call them sins. They are the results of dealing with people in a very negative way. These are the products of people who are absent the beauty of love and compassion. These are the people who are selfish and are concerned about themselves only. And this, my friends, is paramount all over the earth, wherever there are people that are congregated uh, as a family or <clears throat> as a society. Now, the societies of the world, they are different in many respects. And at the same time, they are the same in other respects. We talk about goals that they have. And that main goal that every nation has is a satisfied life. They want their needs they want their wants and their desires met when they want them. Now, that's basically every people, every people. But that doesn't uh, happen. And when we talk about these people wanting these things, man, we're talking about basic essential things as I share with you all the time, like food, clothing, shelter. These things people need, education, health care. They need it, transportation, infrastructure. And really, all of the things that are made by the hands of man that they desire to access if this is their desire. Now, the methodology that we use to follow in doing these things, or we've seen others uh, pursue, they've tried systems of government. They've tried democracy, communism, socialism, dictatorships, and all these other isms. And in most of them, they always have something called a divine providence. That's talking about who is ruling, who is boss. We always got somebody who have themselves connected to the power that you cannot see. And they're connected to that power because there are so many things that happens on while we're here. So many things that we are evidently familiar with now that we as human beings had nothing to do with. So it took a power beyond us to cause these things to happen. And so when we say divine providence, we're saying that that power has chosen certain people, certain individuals to run a society. Even if it started out with a family, it might have caused the daddy, the man, if the man was there or whatever. And they just say, this is a divine providence. And then just as they got that man to be the head of the family, per se, a group of people got together. And it was divine providence that said, what person? is going to be the leader here. Usually, well, in certain places, it might be different. In America, they call it, or should I say Europe, wherever, they call it white people. This is what they imposed upon the rest of the people. They just claim this. And so they say that they're the smartest, they're the wisest, they're the ones that make the decision. And at the same time, they're the one who establishes the haves and the have-nots. These are the people, if you ask me, who are most willing to break all the rules, to break all the laws, to do everything that's evil, to do everything that's sinful in order to establish themselves as the superior beings. You see, when you teach people and have control over people's education, you teach them what not to do. And you do everything you tell them not to do. For instance, in America today, Donald Trump puts down everything that he knows is ugly. He'll say that Democrats and people of color are doing these things when in, in, in actuality, the only people violating these rules, the only people violating these uh, responsibilities and duties is Donald Trump and his people. But this is just for America. It happens in every society. They're always pointing at somebody else saying that they are doing something when they themselves are doing just the same things. But <clears throat> nations do not exist to benefit the masses. You know, that's, everybody said it does, but it doesn't. The nations and the systems of government are designed for the few to utilize and abuse the masses for the benefit of the few. And as an outcome of that, 
you have poverty, you have crime, the violence, you have this, what we call the haves and the have nots. Now, one thing that Trump has done, he has shown how corrupt that America is. He has shown how corrupt America is. Now, we got a lot of people who violate rules because of their situations in life, and they're all locked up in jail. But Donald Trump represents what we have accepted and, and recognized in America as white supremacy. And that allows him to do all of the things that he has been doing since he's broken all of the rules, since he has proven himself to care less about America than any American that we know of that was running for public office. Donald Trump has shown America he does not give a stink about this country. He does not give a damn about the people of this country. He only wants to use this country, the whole country, the whole dead black the United States of America that people have said is the most powerful nation on the face of the earth. He wants to use this nation and put behind him so that he can be revered as the most powerful man on the face of the earth. That's Donald Trump. And America is submitting to this type of action. This is <clears throat> what is happening. But the, the, the cry should be that we need a better America. We need to clean America, you know, <clears throat> You, but when you start talking about cleaning America up, what do they do? They try to put the blame on other folks. In in, in, in America right now, they got drugs. That, and, well, it's been out here a long time. But they're talking about these uh, pills. And, and now they want to say, they used to say crack with the black man. But everybody found out afterwards, crack had nothing to do with black people except they being used and abused to sell. But all the money and the crack coming were white people who were using Black people who didn't have anything, who were convinced if they sell these drugs, they could get some money. They could maybe have some money to buy cars. They maybe can have some money to have jewelry. They might even be able to make enough money to get them a record. They might even do all kinds of things. And now they're trying to say that these drugs that, that white people are on, they want to say the gangs are responsible for bringing this and destroying America. Now, black people, gangs, no, that stuff is coming from other people, people who got access, people who got money, people who are doing these things and bringing this stuff in on people who are hustling, who are trying to make a difference in their lives, and they're using them to flaunt the stuff. But nobody's talking about that too much. They're talking about getting the low dog, the underdog. Well, there are a lot of things that need to be done. I would think that we should spend our time talking about creating a new America. Uh, Trump also represents the inability of white folk to control their need for superiority. Uh, blacks should never take orders from any white people again. Now that's, as, as I said, why would you take orders when in America over the past several years, they have shown you everything about the abuse by the hands of white people. They have shown you how they abused the Bible. They have shown you how they abused the story about God and Christ. They, uh, uh, they have shown you how they took people's land, how they invented, not invented, but actually brought Americans to slavery. That they have done everything they possibly can to keep a people of color down because they're desire to be superior. They have stacked all of the systems within America. They st stacked the Supreme Court to work against black people. They stacked a people of color. They stacked the Department of Justice to be against uh, people of color. They stacked every institution. Now they want to change the, the materials in school to make black people look whatever they want to make them look like. And so, ladies and gentlemen, to make a long story short is this. I know all the things that I'm saying to you, you know are true. But you don't know what to do about them. All I can say is if anybody that walks into freedom knows what to do about it. No man, no woman, no individual who have been born into freedom will ever give any allegiance to slavery. The system that, ha that black people and people of color has been... <clears throat> given and ha had to experience in America is absolutely pathetic, absolutely pathetic. 
And if I had to give any advice as the one who has been given evidence that there's a power superior to white people, superior to the gun, even superior to death, I would say um, unless and until people in America, not just black people, but all people in America, every American citizen benefits from the American way. The system is designed to do that. Not that some can have yachts, the song can have spaceships and others sleeping in tents on the street. That is a sign that America is corrupt from both ends, from the top down. You got people corrupt, willing to cause pain and suffering to others and don't care about it. And you got people so blindsided, so whipped down that they will accept anything just to keep on breathing. That is a sign that the whole nation is corrupt. When you see Donald Trump out there talking about what he would do, it should make every human being, not just in America, but every human being that knows the difference between truth and lies, everybody who knows the difference between hatred and love should puke. I mean, just puke, because Donald Trump and, and the things he says and does is nothing but about puke, puke. And so I would basically say, when you're talking about Donald Trump, let's say he has this thing set up that he, they actually get him in office. How they do it, it's, it's evil so they can work a way out. That nobody in this country should listen to any system of government. I don't care what they are. Don't listen to anybody because you have seen that corruption has taken over. And if you follow suit with any of this stuff, that means you are partakers of this takeover. You are partakers of this hell. So anybody, you, you don't know any Republican or Democrat, doesn't matter who wins. The thing is that it is now time for America to change and do the right thing. Why is it now time? Because it's been exposed. Look at the killing of black people. Look at white people killing white people. Look at what they do to make money. Everything is exposed as being as corrupt as it can be for right now. But if you stick into people like Trump and those lies, it's going all straight down to pure bottom hell. So I would say anybody, if they accidentally put Trump in, it's over. Nobody listen to anybody. You don't listen to the police. You don't listen to the law. You don't listen to nobody. Why? Because this thing's gone. And if you want them in America, if you want some decency, if you want justice, then you change the system and make sure that those things that are essential that everybody wants in order to be satisfied are the things that the American people focus on. And if you can't do that, you belong in hell.